Here's all the stuff that was in the box. I like that they include an additional filter. These things here are boundary strips, four of these sweeper thingies. It only uses one at a time, so the other three are extra. This is not gonna be a professional review. This is a Zofi review. It's basically a consumer opening up a box and then trying to figure out how to use a dinky vacuum. Yeah, it's made by Dean Key. It's a dinky robot vacuum. So before I use the vacuum, I gotta charge it up. Right, Nala? Right. Before I charge it, it says to click on. Flashing purple means charging. Charging time, 300 to 360 minutes. Uh-oh, and I can't move this rug. Next time I'll have to use this barrier strip. Don't eat the, don't eat the plastic. Don't eat it. No, don't eat the, stop. Let go. No, it's not food. All right, that's twice now where I don't know where it is. I don't hear it anymore, but it's not docked. So, where is it? Ah, it keeps getting stuck. But hey, at least it doesn't talk. Maybe it should. Maybe it should talk so I can know what's going on. Uh-oh. Cat toy. Ah, I heard a beep. <gasps> it docked. It's done. It's done, but it never reached the dining room or the bedroom. I'm not even sure if I got to the kitchen. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna try to see if it'll mop my bathroom and my bedroom. So I'm gonna move the rugs, which I normally do anyways, but that white rug in the living room, mm -mm. I think today I'm just gonna pick the thing up, move it into the bathroom where I need it to mop, and yeah. mopped and swept some areas here but like I think it looks worse than before and created these little dust streaks awesome I think it's stuck on the cables to the sofa which is another thing that's not really easy to move because it's a heavy sofa oh boy all right that's it I'm gonna lock you in my bedroom Look how I got the GoPro attached. I trapped it in my room, so it can't go anywhere. I'm not moving couch cables. Mm -mm. Pull back. You're going back. You're going back, I'm putting you back there, and I'm closing the damn door. Oh hell no, it's got to finish my bathroom, so now it's locked up in there. Huh, I guess I'll run it again in the bathroom. So 
this part's now dry, and there's how much stuff it picked up. It does work a lot better when I sweep first, then mop sweep. In real life, I guess I would do the same thing. I would vacuum the floor first and then mop. But I was really hoping that it would mop and sweep at the same time, but instead it just kind of smears it around if there's too much dirt. However, I do like how it travels in this kind of pattern instead of like all over the place like my pool vacuums do so that is really nice and when it sweeps it does pick up a lot of stuff like cat hair there's always cat there's tons of cat hair i have to vacuum every day but i love it having a cat not the hair so there's also an app but i couldn't get it to work i tried to reset my router and the vacuum was only seeing the 5g network it needs the 2.4 so it is what it is. I'm just not having any luck with apps. But after reading Amazon reviews on this, it does look like most people did get the app to work. And the app is compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant. So yeah, with the app, you can do more, like voice control. You can set a schedule. You can change the cleaning modes. And I think there's a couple other things in there. I would have preferred to just have the buttons on the vacuum for all this extra stuff or a remote, like the previous vacuum that I showed. A remote control is fine for me. I, I just, I don't want any more apps. After renting it again and moving the bike rack, putting the boundary strips around the rug, well, around part of it anyways, it did get more area of my house and boy, does it pick up a lot of cat hair. Well, it picks up a lot. So that I'm happy with, but I wouldn't get rid of my vacuum yet, my regular vacuum, because there's a lot of areas that it just won't reach. So that's it. And now it's time for my cheesy exit. Toodle-oodle-lee-loo.